Good morning everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we're hopefully going to be getting down to Felix though today. It's a nice sunny, warm, nice sunny warm day to start with on a Monday. That was 20 past 7 in the morning that minute. It's uh, currently 17 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. It's a bit hazy, but I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it should be a good day. So I will get on and go get a container on and I will update you when I'm down in my job in um, Mansfield or Shirebrook. So that's from with my container on. It says it's not scrap metal I'm loading. It says um, car parts on my uh, on the um, system there at Riley's in Doncaster. So we will we will see once I get down there what it actually is loading. It's, it's, um, it looks like it's a scrap metal site, but it could just be used cars and well, engines. Anything really, reloading them. So it could be a couple of hours load this, which for Monday morning I'll take that. But we will see. 29 mile away from the job at the minute, so we got a, a just a short drive to start off with. I've not asked yet if it's still going down to Felix Stowe or not but I've not I've not heard that it isn't so it's as far as I'm aware it's still going down to Felix Stowe by road at the roundabout take the first exit to Waterville yeah, so away. hopefully I can get down there pick up a I'll get this box off pick up another one for tomorrow and run up the road a bit tonight well this evening you know try and run it as far as I can keep that aircon going because it's going to be a warm one today again At the roundabout, take been the a, exit to Woodfield Way. it has been a nice weekend very nice and a welcome change yeah it's been 25 degrees plus both days so I managed to get out running at the weekend got a good run in six mile on Saturday which is Nearly unheard of for me at the minute. But I felt good and strong. Sat Sundays were a bit hit and miss for a run, but at the roundabout, you know, it was, it was 20 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we're just not used to that over here at the minute. Not for not for running in or trying to be productive in. Oh, that's a big bottle. It's like a manhole cover sunk down on the other side of the road on the way into that garage there. Right where all cars and wagons turn in, so it's a good job, isn't it? Good job, want a bit quicker then, Mr. Sear. You're in a bit of a rush. Oh. Anyway, I will get off for now and I'll give you all an update when I get turn down right closer to this right, job. Right, then head to the roundabout. get much often also the castle at top of the hilly on the right and I'm glad I'm coming up this hill empty now than loaded I'll be coming back down this way so it'll be engine brake will be getting a good workout on this you know, 
30 mile an hour speed, speed limit on here so we, we're just managing 30 which is um, it's flat out for me at the minute I can't get any quicker than this one because it's speed limit and two just because there's no left in wagon it's struggling up this would be a slow climb and a clutch burner I think if I were loaded we're gonna, right we're gonna be on max weight coming out of here. So there we go. It's finally decided to change a gear. Yeah, it was stuck in tenth gear then at a thousand RPM, which is why it was struggling up that hill. I think it's finally realised it was struggling once I've got to top of hill, which is about right for a daft. Yeah, it's about right for a daft. This time next week I'll be in Escania. When I start at my new at the new job, they they predominantly run Scanias. They've got a few DAFs, but the new trucks, and they've got some Volvos in there new as well. So I imagine I'll be getting put into a into a Scania older one, and then we should be all good. It's a bit tight through here. Turn right onto Hornscroft Road. Um, that's what you yeah, you come to Bolsover Castle, you come to Bolsover and it's built for horse and cart, not for truck. Truck and car. So we got through though. I've been in worse. Yeah, this company that I'm going to I've been been to them before, they do a lot of insulation and building sites so and I've been in past with them it's been fun on some at building sites when they, you know, they're putting up housing estates and obviously they, they don't think about getting all the stock in for wagons and everything like that so continue one mile to the end of the street then turn left four mile to the job now always get a bit anxious on sort of roads like this when there's no pictures of wagons on it and you just sim that you just sim a bit big on the road yeah so I feel like this is for more cars than than it is for trucks but signposted towards my job so it'll do for me Nineteen degrees now at the minute. But there's a bit of a bit of a wind though, so it sh it should hopefully cool the cab down nicely. That man coming out. That's a bit of a junction there. Oh, and lovely. Set up road works on a blind bend, but they haven't put the traffic lights on yet. I think this one's going to be a bit fun. Like that. This ain't great. But what are you meant to do? <sighs> Jesus. This is poor. Very poor from them. They need to get someone on traffic control. That is a full on blind bend, and everyone's just following me now, so that car can't get through. But obviously, once I, once I pulled off, I was committed, I was blocking the road, I was out in Midlet Road, I couldn't reverse back for cars, so I just had to go, unfortunately. But it happens, I suppose. Luckily, luckily I got a nice car driver, and she did reverse for me, so. It wouldn't have been funny if it had been someone that didn't want to reverse because they did have right of way then but you know I was I wasn't rushing I just took my time went pulled out and there were no coming then all of a sudden she pulled off but oh well it's no harm eh
does make it look a lot better England when it's sun is out. I've only come one space, so we'll get through here. Two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back onto a motorway with some bigger roads, I think. Well, at least it's quiet. It's always nice when it's quiet. Still three and a half mile away. When I put the camera on my sat nav said I was eight minutes away. I think it's told some porkies there. Just to try and watch my camera run. My, my camera's on this truck on that bush there, otherwise they, they do like to fold in, but then you can't fold them out unless you stop and put parking brake on. So It's all automated on this. They won't. They won't push in. They'll just. They're on. They're on motors, so you've got to push a button to toggle them in and out. So I'm going left, and then I'm going right. Yeah. Surprised I just made this to a roundabout. But at least I've been sensible and. We've got full control of the junction here, which is nice. Right oh, it's definitely getting more rural and more scenic. Well, I think when I turn this next right in two miles, we should be there. So I'll stop rabbling on now and I will catch you all later when I'm loaded. load than I think the fort but we are out and away Turn left. let's go it's a bit of a bit of a poor road this here because they've obviously got I've got right away but it's right up at the top end but it is all parked cars here so it's not the best of planning but I think the industrial estate might have been the, been the factor as to why but oh well we're through 176 mile to Felix though it is going down there so I will ask for a four o'clock booking and I think they've got a York I'm in tomorrow out of there so it's a nice run it'd be a light box I've done it a few times this job that we're going to in York um, it's, a, it's a it's a big online retailer the music stuff so yeah um, it's an easy run up loading bay is a bit interesting but you know, it's a couple of hours to tip um, there's been a change of plan I'm not actually leaving here now I'm gonna stay with gonna stay with here with these um, just for the fact that I'm moving and you know I'm, I'm set I am settled here um, we're going to be on to curtain side of work I was going to go on to but just decided for the best of it to stay here and uh, obviously I've, had, I've got a brand new truck oh, I've, had it, I've had it new since December so I know it's a reliable truck I know history of the truck and and it's, it's just set up for me you know so I'm going to get off and give my office a phone and tell them what time I'm going to be down there and then I will update you guys later on in the day
guys, just a little update. I'm just down at just just about well, 22 mile away from Felix though at the minute. Just just in a layby at the minute on my break. Um, my box for tomorrow ain't going to be released yet. It's not going to be released until tomorrow at 4 a.m. So I'll get down here. We've got a five o'clock booking to get this off. It's just coming up, just 10 past four now. So. I'll go down and get this container off and then park up down there and get the container on for tomorrow for um, the run up to York. So I might make this a put two days into one video here um, just because it's a bit of a shorter day. It's more it's just mostly driving today. There's not much going on. So I will um, get off for now and I'll give you all an update once I, um, I've got this box off down at Felixstone. Hey guys, that's me parked up now in Felix Doe. I'm parked up right next to the railway line. If it's going to adjust or not, is it going to adjust it? There we go. Yeah, I've parked in the dock tonight because it's really warm outside, so I can get windows down here. There's a bit of a breeze, so it just makes makes it more comfortable in the truck. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to end this video here or. Um, I'm going to continue on for tomorrow because I don't know how long this video is going to be. So I will um, get my laptop out. I'm just going to do some tea. I've got some got some chicken for tea tonight, and then um, get my laptop out and do some editing. I'll see how long this video is, and um, I'll let, obviously if the video ends, <laughs> you know it's um, it's at a length, and because I don't want the vid video has been too long because if they're too long you know it's hard to, hard to keep watching and you just lose interest so if um oh yeah i'll get my laptop out and i will see what it is and i'll put a video in it in at the end and if it ends it ends if it doesn't then we'll go for the adventure tomorrow catch you guys in a bit <laughs> 